what is cooking YouTube? I'm Casserole J, and today we are reacting to Vita Carnis Living Me Research documentary, full footage. Now, this was an uh, analog style horror video that I just couldn't wait to react to. I watched maybe the first minute or so, and it looked extremely promising, so I decided to make a video on it. So uh, let's just watch it. Now, it does say gore, violence, death, flashing lights. So, you guys should definitely watch yourselves. Federal law provides severe civil and criminal penalties for the unauthorized viewing of this footage. And it, yeah, and then that just, it does a FNAF on us. On planet Earth, life has thrived for millions of Hold years. Hold up. There we go. Creatures big and small have found ways to adapt and evolve to flourish in all types of environments. Yeah, they have, haven't they? From barren wastes to lush forests. Kind of crazy, actually. Earth has homed these creatures since the dawn of life itself. What? Only until very recently, things have changed. Ew, can New I just say? forms have appeared all around the globe and completely changing the balance of nature and what we know about evolution itself. That is why we, at National Living Meat Research, <laughs> Living have Meat been Research, studying I love these it. new species, trying to help educate everyone about these creatures and their wondrous ways of life. It what are these new life forms? Since their explosive arrival across the globe in 1931, that, 1930. there has been much debate on what these newcomers are, and where they came from. Are they extraterrestrials coming to invade Earth? Or are they demons Possible. who come from hell to purge humanity? <sighs> from what our scientists have discovered, no. Wow. The origins of these creatures are solely to Earth, miraculously out of nowhere. We don't know why Very or strange, how, huh? but one thing is for certain, Earth is now their home. What these creatures are is mysterious and still not well known today. But here is what we do know. These creatures are comprised mainly of muscle tissue, organs, and bones. They greatly resemble animals with no skin Which or store bought is kind meat. Of nasty if you ask because me, of these characteristics, they have been named accordingly as Vita Carnies. The carny species consume decaying, organic matter, but their main diet is composed of raw meat not including their carnies relatives. Which the is carnies cool. only appear in places where there is an abundance of crawl, which leads to the first creature there of the carnies go. species. This is kind of where I stopped. The crawl is a growth of meaty tendrils that Look closely that resemble thing. the small intestine, the only Ew. difference being the dark red coloration. These tendrils grow in a similar pattern as vines, mold, or fungi. A I mean, primary stem structure ugh. is the host of divisions of ugh. other, smaller branches. I have not seen that. And each That's tendril nasty. contains a variety of veins, arteries, and other similar organs used to transport nutrients absorbed from its surroundings. The ends of these tendrils are equipped with organelles used to absorb water and organic matter necessary for growth. That's just pretty cool. The source cool to of me. these organic materials is mainly found in dirt and soil on surrounding surfaces. Using its root-like tendrils, it absorbs the material and processes it into usable energy. It's like photosynthesis Although, the almost. the crawl also obtains energy through another means. Using a sophisticated form of photosynthesis, oh, I just the said dark that. pigmentation of the smaller branches is ideal for absorbing sunlight, and therefore oh, allowing solar energy oh. to fuel the crawl's growth. I thought it was going to get menacing real quick. Because of its efficiency, it thrives in almost all types of environments, easily allowing it to spread across the Ugh. world, I mean, and can be found pretty much anywhere. I'm not sure I want that, to be quite honest, even if they're cool. Its recent inclusion in the ecosystem Look has caused many major changes in nature's balance. Yeah, I imagine so. One may assume that the crawl's presence may outcompete any other competitors, but yeah, due to right? its unique life cycle, where old branches fall off and decay into nutrient-rich compost, oh. all forms of life seemingly flourish instead. Oh, that, okay, that's the actually kind of nice. The abundance grants it, plenty it, of nourishment to all animals, from plants feeding on the decayed crawl, herbivores thriving on increased plant population, and carnivores feeding on both the abundant prey, really? and are able to eat the crawl as well. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's actually nice. The presence nice. of all these animals leave behind waste, which will be broken down and consumed by the crawl, and the cycle begins cool. again. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. This form of symbiosis leads to an environment where all populations thrive. That, that, okay, so that's why I first have to uh, pause the video. What I like about this analog is where other analog creatures fail, they just become these overpowered, these overpowered monster beings that are unstoppable and they just destroy everything. <laughs> but with 
these these things, it seems, you know, they give back to the environment. They actually try to adapt to live in our ecosystem. And you can see a lot of thought was put into them. I, I find it very impressive. You gotta subscribe to this guy's YouTube channel. I'll, I'll link it at the end. You also in the description, I mean. This is the crawl to our advantage. We do. Because of the supernatural rate of growth and its oh. richness in nutrients, no. it has been sustainably oh. cultivated into domestic farms. No, please don't the do that. The crawl is harvested okay. and processed into fertilizer, which greatly uh, increases crop yield and that's quality. That's probably not great to eat, though, honestly. The crawl yep. may also be used as a food source for humans. Really? And reliably so. I don't think I want to eat but that. But due to its unkindly appearance yeah. and taste, yeah. it has yet to reach cuisine standards. It's kind of nasty. The crawl also plays a very important role in the next oh. creatures that we have been studying. Basically, it's the beginning. Sometimes, Ooh. in a crawl populated what environment, a, a node of meat may develop on one of the branches. A node this of meat. node will fall off and grow into a functioning organism and oh. go to live on as an independent animal. Creepy. This leads us to the upcoming species that we will be discussing. All right. The first of these creatures are the trimmings. Oh! Whoa, trimmer. wait, 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 what did that say? That said something. I finally got what it, uh, what it says. Look at this, it's like a little story thing. Once upon a time, there was a distant kingdom. The kingdom was blur blur. Do I can't read this? Maybe I could, uh... Alright, yeah, no, I don't think the we're gonna trimmings. that. Trimming. Trimmings are oh, oh, oh. raccoons. That's kind of gross. They are commonly known to have a plump body, Ew. round head small eyes, nose and ear holes, and an agape mouth. Oh. They are also equipped Why with it got so many of legs. legs. Yeah, it's got like All these individual feet. trimmings are unique, each with a different body shape, number okay. of limbs, and other characteristics. That's not very, I mean, okay. One thing they all share in common is that they are made mostly of meat tissue and are oh. a maximum of 20 centimeters in length. No larger than a basketball. Oh, just imagine you see a basketball. Its like starts with its separation. Fleshy basketball. Crawl. Oh, wait. It what? will wonder to find anything that is edible and able to consume. All right. Although it is an omnivore, being able to hunt meat and forage for plant matter, trimmings are almost entirely scavengers. Their okay. diet consists of rotting plants and meat, including, but not limited to, fruits, vegetables, roots, seeds, insects, and deceased animals. All right, specifically deceased. Although its appearance oh. is unsightly, it is a cowardly creature, only fleeing, screeching, and oh. hiding when threatened. That's kind of sad. Because of its lack of defensive traits, it lies near the bottom of the Kind of like us, not gonna lie. easily overpowered and picked off very regularly by predators. Oh, that sucks, dude. I feel Naturally, you. Naturally, its population would eventually die out, this is not the case. Oh, wait, what was that? What was that? There was something there. Oh, freaking ads. Oh, oh my god. Mass trimming infestation. Do I can't read these. They make them so fast. This is not the case. The crawl constantly produces a large quantity of trimming nodes, oh, keeping right. up their numbers. That's good. Naturally, trimmings can be found wherever there is abundant crawl. Oh, yeah, I was wondering about that. Trimmings grow at a decent pace. Reaching maturity at around seven months. Oh, what's maturity look like? lifespan of two to four years. That's not very long, is it? Although they are plentiful, humanity has no proper way to implement trimmings into society. Their oh. overabundance has even considered Ooh, them pests. That's kind of creepy, actually. Due to them digging through trash bins and making Aww. excessive noise at night. Besides all oh, of those, some people still oh, keep trimmings as pests. kind of disgusting in a cute way. domesticate them. Okay, yeah, like Nuisance a cat. or not, trimmings are a wondrous creature, from their plentiful numbers, to their skittish nature. This they art is really... Thing to behold. Yeah, this art is really well done, can the I just say. The next species on our list is... The Meat Snake. I don't like the sound of that at all. During the travels on one of their blur, a great storm struck. It was so powerful, it swayed the boat, the royal family rode, and pushed the princess out, or the prince, out into the sea. All right, so they're telling us like a little side story. The meat snake. All right. The oh. meat snake oh, is a Oh yeah, I don't like that already. Made of a variety of Look at its of mouth. Meat, coated in a transparent skin-like membrane. Oh. Its size varies during its lifespan, depending okay. on how much it consumes. When it first separates from the crawl, Ooh. it is only a Ooh. few centimeters that in looks, length. That's kind of gross. Eventually, it will reach an average length of five meters. Although, under extreme conditions, like natural disasters, war, or plague, 
It can greatly surpass this length. Okay, what was that? All right, large meat snake ever discovered during a slump underground settlements. Something. The meat snake was discovered stuck inside of an underground. The beast was measurement of total of 40 meters in length? That is too big. Oh, 40 meters. The meat snake's diet consists entirely of dead animals or parts. Okay. A meat snake is incapable of consuming a healthy, living organism. Oh, okay, that's that's kind of good. The meat snake allocates ooh, its food ooh. by using a tongue-like no. organ covered in no. sensors I'm to good. touch and feel its environment. Ugh. The sensors catch particles of decaying meat, notifying oh. the meat snake that there is food nearby. Gross. This process shares Ooh, many similarities dude. to regular snakes. I hate their mouths. the meat snake's name. All right. Once okay. it locates okay. the corpse, the meat snake will open its jaw and oh. swallow the entire body whole. Why do you call the meat slug? Once the entire body is consumed, the meat snake's stomach will release a variety of chemicals. Some will break down soft tissue like skin <sighs> wow. and the connection points between muscles. Others chemicals will then ferment and preserve the tissue to keep it from breaking down for as long as possible. Oof. After that, the remaining flesh and bones will move along the meat snake's track Oof. and slowly be implemented into its own structure, extending the meat snake. That's kind of weird. Unsatisfactory parts like skulls, pelvises, hair, and fingernails will be excreted. Fingernails? Speaking of skulls, the meat snake will take the skull from the consumed organism and use it as its own. Each meat okay. snake has its own skull. Oh, oh, that's a human face right there. Do you see that? That is definitely a human face. That looks like a rhino, and I don't care what that is. That's a human. Each corresponding to what that one has. That consumed. is a thousand percent a human. During its lifespan, it will swap or replace yeah. these skulls if needed. A meat snake's so lifespan depends entirely on how much a meat snake consumes. Basically, the meat snake the is all about eating. The longest one has okay. lived for was twenty-eight years. Oh wow, that's a while. The meat snake has no predators and is immune to disease due to its preserving chemicals. Please don't tell the me we keep it as pets. The only ways a meat snake can die is through starvation, burning, or complete destruction of the meat snake's membrane coating. Oh, burning. Wow. You could just set this thing on fire. Interestingly, the Ooh. meat snake is the only member of the Carnies family that is able to reproduce. Wow. Look at that art. Also, do they drink water? This thing's looking like the Loch Ness Monster right now. Deuce. When a meat snake reaches an excessive size and is in the conditions to do so, okay. it will commence mitosis, splitting oh. itself in two. Then the now two meat snakes will go on their separate ways and live on as two distinct organisms. Okay, that's that's actually meat interesting. Meat snakes can only be found in moderate temperature climates, not too hot, not too cold. Hardly the amount of corpses available. Where there is death, there are meat oh. snakes. Oh, that's. I mean, Humanity so they're everywhere. Use them to our advantage. Meat snakes are a very efficient and clean way of disposing of any meat products. The preserving okay. fluid within the meat snake's body disinfects the carrion, preventing the spread oh, of disease. Oh, yeah, that's right. Humans use meat snakes in butcher shops as a waste bin. Oh. Dispose roadkill within war on the battlefield to dispose of festering oh. bodies okay, and that's, parts. That's why and within you... Zeus to dispose of deceased animals. Oh, that's kind of gross. Why would you make him do they that? They are extremely tame. Ooh. Not caring if any creature is around tame. them. Tame? Only he... acting defensively when it is within consuming a meal. Oh. This means they are very easy to tame. Look at its mouth, bro. This thing is actually... Overall, oh. meat snakes are a marvelous creature with a very interesting way of sustaining itself. Bro, what's it, it doing? It is an amazing experience to encounter one. As long as you don't mind the smell. Oh, I do mind the smell. Our next creature is the mimic. He needs some milk. I don't like the sound of that. All right, I can't even get the flash of that. The mimic. The mimic is a bipedal creature with uncanny Ooh. similarities to humanoid anatomy. Dude, it looks like it's they smiling. They greatly resemble humans without skin, with added exaggerated features. Ugh, These features include gross. extended finger length, yeah. longer limbs, bulging, empty Freaking eyes, slender and their man. most prominent feature, a wide, teeth-filled smile. Dream. Although it resembles a happy face, Dream. this is due to coincidence, and is only how their facial structure is shaped. They had to point that out. Oh my god. The while the mimic contains much more teeth than humans, Those are some and big their teeth. teeth is comprised almost entirely of incisors, with some canine and premolars in the back. This is tooth composition is ideal for biting down onto meat, 
and swallowing Ooh. Chuck's whole. Ooh, don't do that, man. Just eat it. A mature it. Mimic's diet is comprised entirely of human flesh. 50 bite... 50 chews. Wait, what? Human flesh? Because oh. of this, they are found solely around human populated areas. Oh, yeah. The Our first monster. The cycle is made of three stages. No. What? In the first stage, a young mimic separates from the crawl. They okay. closely resemble their trimming relatives, All but right. are thin, Ooh. sleek, and only have four appendages. That thing nasty. In this stage, the young mimic will hunt small animals, moving on to larger and larger as Those they grow. Those poor animals, Once bro. Once large enough, it will begin metamorphosis into the next stage of life. Once fully transformed, it will resemble the description mentioned in the beginning. Oh my its god. Style oh! style changes and becomes much more... Mimic locked inside home after owner escaped. Photographed by Sensei Guys. Look at that thing. That thing's actually... Ugh, like, it actually gives me shivers down my spine, bro. Complicated. It now stalks and feeds only on oh. humans. It will locate human populated area and begin its search for an easy target. Well, how's no one to see it? To blend in, it may use uh. objects to conceal itself. These include clothing, mannequins, what? and furniture. No. What? Mannequins. Dude, just imagine. You're just going to the store, right? All of a sudden you see this mannequin just sitting sitting in the sitting in the display case. You think nothing of it, right? And as you're walking you look back and it's definitely tilted. You just you just continue walking home because you're kinda of freaked out. You go into this sort of dark alley because you, know, you think, oh, that's a really good idea. I mean, it's actually a really dumb idea. You turn around, and this mannequin is just following you, bro. That would be so scary. Once a target has been found, the mimic will observe its prey and learn its routine and when it is most vulnerable. Oh, wow, they're intelligent. This is typically when the human is asleep at night. Oh, my God. Once the prey is within position, the mimic will advance. Thank God I'm a, I'm a light enough. sleeper. The no. Oh. Consumption. These Once the mimic has had its fill, it will leave the scene a fair distance away from the human population. Bro, that's and begin terrifying. To digest its meal. Ooh. Although, in the case that a human is awake, a mimic will use a variety of sounds to either look oh. and cornering themselves. Okay, I actually thought that was my door for a second. Dude, that actually scared me. Once a human is in place, it will swiftly attack and kill the helpless target. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh shoot, lady, what's going on? What are you doing? Right, she locked the door. Oh! Oh, she being a pet. She's getting attacked by Mimic. Bro, no! It's gonna come in. Oh my god. Why? All right, turn off your flashlight first of all. This ain't a video. Oh my god! It open the door, dude. Turn your flashlight off. Turn that crap off. That thing's gonna see it. That thing's gonna see it, bro. Bro, turn it off. She's gonna. She's gonna see the light. What is this guy doing? What is she doing? Oh my god, dude! It's about to pop up. Why is she not turning her flashlight off? That's just, I know it's scary, but like, you gotta just turn it off, you know? Like, you can't, you can't just leave your floor. Oh, oh my god, it's fingers. Lady, stop shining your freaking flashlight all over, bro. The thing's gonna see it. Don't, don't, don't hiss with the jump scare, please. Oh my god, oh. Oh my god, that thing is disgusting. Jeez. The next stage of the mimic's life cycle. We got to see. Potential morphs it may Why would you put that in the documentary? I don't think that's necessary. Develop into. If a mimic has a consistent supply Jeez. of food, it will develop more human-like features. It oh. will grow skin, hair, what? and by the end will look nearly identical to a human being. Oh no. It now can blend entirely into civilization that's and lure other humans more effectively. The second type of morph happens when a mimic receives an overabundance of food. It will grow into a larger, oh. more evolved hunter. Its what? proportions will increase in length. Bro, look it, at its teeth. It's got them Chucky e. Cheese teeth. Its humanoid features will fade away. It grows a thick, dark coating of a flexible skin, which what? is highly durable, 
and increases in strength the more the elder mimic consumes. Who drew these, dude? This excludes the face, oh. which is now coated in a pale pink skin. Why? The mimic's teeth have also moved deeper into the mimic's throat, leaving its mouth. Dude, that's the gross. It uses the dark hue of its skin to hide seamlessly within a dark environment. Please don't show us first Its skills have also been heightened. Bro. This makes an elder mimic one of the most efficient predators on the planet. Wow. Because of the Let's obvious get rid of that. threat this poses on humanity, nations around the world have released instructions on how to be able to fend for yourself okay, in a mimic encounter. Can you like kill Here it? Are the instructions. One, mm -hmm. avoid going out alone if your location is known to have mimics. So got, or like, there have been mimic sightings. Okay, they got like mimic warnings, bro. If you encounter a stationary mimic, seemingly unfazed by your presence, quietly leave the location. I don't think you need to. Local authorities. Yeah, I don't think you need to tell me that. Three, if pursued by a mimic, get yourself into a position where you are able to flee. Mimics will rarely attack if a person has a clear escape route. Kinda like a mugger, Four. dude. In the event that you have been cornered by a mimic, you're dead. Into the fetal position, protecting your neck, face, and vital organs. No, nah, dude. Square up with that thing. Noise as you can to alert any other people. Okay. Five. Uh, that's not a very good idea. Have a weapon. Do not use Go. it. What? A mimic is fairly resilient, and any strikes or shots on a mimic is not effective enough to bring it down in time. No way. Instead, use it as a barrier between you and the mimic to block any attacks. Do either way. Six. Nope. Okay, if you do that last, you do that step. If you're alone in your house, dude, you're gonna be sitting there for five hours trying to fend off a mimic with a bat. You're gonna die. You gotta just try to run away from that. Like, you gotta beat it back or something. In a situation where a mimic is hunting in the immediate area and is not aware of your position, hide somewhere low, <laughs> like under a bed or behind other furniture. Okay. A mimic will not linger too long to search for prey. Okay, mimic's eyesight don't seem very good. Be safe and avoid any encounters with a mimic at all costs. Alright, will do. Next up. Yeah. The Harvester. Right, harvester. I don't like the look of that thing. The harvester is a large, bulbous mass Ooh. with a large amount of tendrils spreading from the base. It looks like one of those stereotypical alien eggs that you see like every movie. The bulb measures around three meters in height and two meters in diameter. Wow, that's pretty big the actually. The tendrils, on the other hand, can extend up to 150 Ooh, meters in diameter horizontally. That, oh my god. That's pre- The harvester Ooh. is a specialized form of crawl that grows in a unique and deadly way. Don't get close to The harvester nothing. is created when a node that will grow into a harvester, instead of separating, continues to grow. Eventually, it will grow tendrils of its own. Okay. It uses the energy provided by its mother branch and expands its reach further. Its tendrils, hidden just below the surface of the ground. What? The no. harvester is equipped with oh. two types of specialized tendrils. That looks like a tendrils. bear trap. The first type is bulky and flat. They lie mm. the closest to the surface. These branches are lined on each length of the tendril with That's spines, like... extending in the shape of a bear trap. Oh, bro, on it is a side bear of the branch, those particular spines have a vein that feed into them, that pump two types of venom. On two one types. side, wow. the spines can inject a neurotoxin which will attack the nervous system of whomever it is injected into, Oof, causing so. sudden paralysis. Oh! The other side can inject an anticoagulant, which when injected, prevents blood cells from clotting. Whoa, so you bleed out? Whenever a large animal moves across the area armed with these tendrils, the branches will clamp onto the animal and thrash Ow. violently. Once the prey has been injected with both venoms, the tendrils will rest and the prey will immediately collapse. The animal will be unable to move due to the paralysis, Bro, and the that wounds sucks. caused by the thrashing spines will not stop bleeding. All the prey can do is lie patiently, until succumbing to blood loss. Bro, that's the worst way to die. Once the prey has bled out, the second type of tendrils come in. They lie below the spine equipped once. These branches are thick, but very stir anatomy to the small branches of the crawl, equipped right. with organelle that absorbs nutrients. Okay. These tendrils sense the blood and move their way to the surface and begin to absorb the vital fluid. See, dude, that's a problem with this Vita Cardis. It's like 
so terrifying, but it's so well done. You basically have to watch it. It's like they put so much thought and effort into making these monsters actually seem like creatures that could, like, really appear on Earth and, like, get adapted into the ecosystem. I'm just so impressed with the levels of creativity in this, this documentary. Once the blood has been consumed, the tendril- Like, if I saw this on TV, alright, I might actually think this was a real thing. ...will wrap around the body and begin to shuffle downwards. Wait, this what? movement loosens the soil and slowly pull the body Oh my god, they even get rid of the body. Once secure, the tendrils will continue to feed until there is nothing but scraps. <laughs> that sucks. While it's the alive- The absorbed by the tendrils will be sucked back into the main bulb of the harvester. Okay. This bulb houses all Whoa. the vital organs and the venom glands that pump into the spines. Look the at nutrients that thing. are then converted into usable It looks energy. like it's got a little face. The remains underground decompose, providing a rich soil, causing very prominent plant growth, which then attracts more animals. Wow, it's got its own hunting system, strange practically. strange behavior the harvester displays as its choice of diet. The okay. spines will only activate on larger animals, allowing smaller ones to pass by unaffected. Oh, it's like they're not the worth spines it. spines will also not activate on some species of bird. Huh. There are a couple theories as to why this happens. Might be like One, they're not worth it. It could be that attacking smaller animals would cost too much energy for what they get in return. It could be that smaller animals may attract larger animals or predators, oh, allowing that's a safe smart. place where prey may thrive and lure more predators. It truly is astonishing. Yeah, it is actually an astonishing. Although it is a spectacular lie. creature, it is also very dangerous. Yeah. The harvester is decently rare. Only okay, populating good. sparse areas in the northern hemisphere and woodland forests. Oh, okay. Yeah, so no if mountains you are stung or anything. By a harvester, there will be no way of helping you. For being real? That there is no cure, and fatality is 100% positive. Oh, that's not good. The best thing you can do is avoid encountering a harvester in the first place. If you are hiking, take note of any warnings or signs oh, saying that there are harvesters around. Like a harvester if you signs. also notice an abundance of lush ground dwelling plants in a forested area and there are no signs of wildlife oh. this is suspicious and you should leave the area staying okay. close to the base of large trees or rocks okay so we if got our own ways of fighting in the back. middle of a harvester ground do not panic all right sudden movements may activate the tendrils and will inject you although a harvester is rather forgiving do not risk any skittish movements all right remain calm if you have any objects with considerable heft, like coats, backpacks, oh, throw them away from yourself? Water bottles, gently take that object and lightly toss it towards the bulb oh, and away from your escape so... route. This will activate the spines on where the object lands, distracting the bulb for a moment. Whoa. You then... Imagine you're in this situation. You're just in this lush field next to this ginormous pulsing meat bulb, and you have to, like, throw your stuff away from yourself just to get out of a forest alive. That would honestly be t not sure how I'd fare there. Slowly begin to do wide shuffles away from the bulb. All right, don't if actually possible, disturb the ground. Throw another object when you are certain you are a fair enough distance away, just Smart. to be safe. Yeah, yeah, just Continue actually can until you do are it. completely sure you are out of harm's way. Okay. You may come out unscathed. Actually, but don't helpful. Don't be too obnoxious, or you will be a harvester's next meal. Good. Next up is the host. The host? The host of influence. Ooh, the oh. The host of influence, yeah, like more that. commonly referred to as the host, has its name derived from a host who invites guests to an event. Oh no. Not to be confused with a host, a harborer of parasites or disease. Okay. It has the structure of a head, torso, and arms. Other yeah. than this, it shares no other characteristics. Its arms are really long, though. The lower half of the host is comprised of a mass of fibrous tissue and tendrils that okay. grow into the ground to hold the host in place. Instead of skin, the host Ooh. is covered in muscular tissue fibers, wow. tendons, and veins. Do it attack on tight Some much? parts of the body are covered in a meaty plate, used to cover any large exposed areas. Bro, it's the Colossus Titan. The host's head has a smooth surface where the face should be, attached oh. to a crooked neck, Ooh. which houses a slit That's in the front gross. used for fat is a mound of pores. Protruding pores. from these pores are okay. hollow, hair-like structures, extending outwards. Okay. These hairs are barrels that release spores produced within host's body, by being fired into the air. What? That's kind of gross. These spores are hazardous, so keep clear of them at all costs. 
Do I have to keep clear of that Local. thing anyway? The host is rare, only found in North America. Oh, we're doomed. <laughs> North Obtaining America's info dead. info about the host is a very risky and daunting task. This is because of their rarity and of how dangerous it is to be up close to one. Oh, okay. Why don't you guys just, like, I, as weird as it sounds, why don't you just, like, fly overhead with a helicopter, like, if you really need to get pictures and stuff? Could could the spores... Yeah, if they get picked up by the wind, then I guess they could technically go upward into the airplane, but I imagine it would take longer. Spores released by a host is very dangerous when in hail. All right. A host will release a what cloud happens? of spores into the air, which will be picked up by wind and carried great distances. Yeah, that's not If good. an organism inhales the spores... The particles will find their way into the organism's brain and infect them. Oh no. I think it'd be zombies An or something. The infected organism will show no symptoms of infection right away. Oh, but that's a the worst. Hours after infection, the infected organism's behavior and thought process will change. Oh no. The first symptoms that appear are restlessness, sluggish movement, okay. numbness of joints, and oh. lack of coordination. All then right. more serious symptoms appear over time. These include dizziness migraines, impaired speech, and trembles. Okay. If you or someone you know show these symptoms, contact poison control or emergency services. Oh, so we have a cure of some after kind, right? After a total right? of six to seven hours after infection, the organism will cease all activities they were previously doing and begin to walk. Oh. The direction the infected will walk is towards the host whose spores have been inhaled by the infected individual. What? If they... the infected... Oh, please don't show us. The host. They will oh. kneel down in front of it, no. expose their vital organs, what? and the host will promptly gut and remove those organs. Oh my god, that's the actually... Will consume them and discard the leftover scraps. That's actually disturbing. Like, that's... However, Ooh. if an infected organism doesn't reach the host within a 36-hour span or is treated for their infection, the effects will wear off and return back to normal. Alright. Okay, that's good. If a host is unable to find prey or doesn't like its current location, it will unroot itself and move to a new location. How? Does it walk on its arms? Like, how Their does it do scarce numbers and the hazard of being around one makes getting info about the host very daunting. All you need to currently know is that the host is extremely dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. Could you wear, like, a gas mask or something when you approach it? <laughs> Would that help at all? Next, the monoliths. Monoliths? That's, that must be pretty big. The monoliths. The monolith is a very new creature, okay. only showing up in June of 1972, in the area of... Ow, wait, what? The area of what? There are only seven monoliths, all of them located in a circular position, one and a half kilometers in diameter. Oh. This ring of monoliths surround... Uh, I kind of would like to hear that information. The monolith is a titanic-sized being measuring roughly 120 meters in height. Ooh. Each Re monolith has two <laughs> trunk legs that are firmly embedded underground. Wow. The legs connect to a torso. Oh my. That's pretty the big. The creature itself is made of hundreds of thousands of meaty strands, tightly woven together to form the structure. Gross. These strands end at the neck, fusing into a solid mass of hardened flesh in the shape of an upside-down triangle, with okay. a hole in its center. EMP, what? On each side of the monolith where arms would be, there are dozens of long, rope-like appendages. These reach just barely to the ground. Dude, this thing's like... Y'all know that Trevor Henderson creature, Day 84? This thing kind of reminds me of that. At the creature's feet, the strands go deep into the earth and extend horizontally a decent distance away. Oh. What the monoliths do is simply stand and do nothing. Really? The only activity documented that the monoliths have done was in... What? Dude, stop blurring it out. During this period, they were extremely aggressive. Oh. When the group of Dude. were making their way to the city, the monolith <laughs> that they had passes roared a deep bellow and the swung its appendages at the team, completely wiping them out. Why? When military vehicles were dispatched, once they got close enough to the monolith, it roared another call, this time releasing an EMP blast, what? completely knocking the vehicles out in the vicinity. Finally, I knew it. Mother Nature's trying to get rid of us. Were fired and struck the creature. Missiles? What is this sound? Dude, is that the roar of the monolith? Oh my god. Dude, imagine you just hear that. You're just chilling one night, you just hear that? No, thank Although you. Damaged, 
It regenerated at great speed what? and resumed its stance unscathed. <laughs> Eventually, they can do that? the area has been fenced off and is now restricted to all. Ever since, the monolith stands silently, now only a grand spectacle of awe and mystery, only adding more questions to these meat beings. Yeah, actually. How and does it finally, not destroy the Earth? The last creature on this list is... Uh... The singularity is a comprised of a dark colored mineral what? with hints of luminous colors within its core. The singularity is estimated. Do y'all hear the music? In diameter. The orb has several unique qualities that are not well understood. Understood. The singularity typically can be found suspended in air by an unseen force. What? There are also a variety of reading that have been documented coming from the orb itself. What? Various Another pattern like signals released by the singularity. The population of these creatures is unknown. Uh, Almost all info about the singularity is how do you know it's a creature? By officials. What? We're only able to receive one classified document about the singularity being held by. Uh, what the heck? and majestic world oh. today it's as extraordinary oh. to have such strange and mysterious beings appear all around us thank uh, you for joining us that? on this journey of exploration and discovery of the lives of these living meat creatures yeah okay thanks for watching more to come yes Made by Darren Quilloy. He did such an amazing job on this. Yeah, this guy right here, Darren Quilloy, please subscribe to him. This guy is literally amazing and talented. If you guys would like to see more of uh, Darren Quilloy's videos, such as Guide to Owning a Pet Trimming or Mimic Self-Defense Instructional Type. Oh, okay. Then uh, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And Casserole J out.